Welcome to Software2C from Festo. In this video, we show you how to use symbols from the standard symbol library, as well as basic information about the designation of components. So once we have our first page here in the project, we'll now have a look at the standard symbol library that you will find here on the left. All symbols are grouped by the purpose of use that will also define the designation letter here. You will find pneumatic symbols as well as the same groups in the electrical symbols. So for example, we have our electrical actuators like motors here or pneumatic actuators like pneumatic drives here. To use the symbols, drag and drop them from the library to your page, like this. Well, now let's have a look at the designation of the components. You see we used MM1 for the pneumatic drive and RN1 for that valve. So there will always be two letters in the designation but you can change that if you want to. Go to the library tab and you have the option to use a two letter designation or only a one letter designation. And you see it always here in the preview. FluidDraw will always take care of your designations. The most important thing is that each designation is unique so that you can access each component. So that will be RN2 now and we already used RN1. If we use the one letter designation, you will see that it is R1 and R2. If you do not like that letter that you see here, you have the possibility to change that. So you can do a right click and assign a different reference designation. So my new designation maybe is set, and then you see that this is set now instead, instead of M1, and it works exactly the same. And you could do that for all of them if you want to. So now we have our designations according to the standard. And now let's try to connect the symbols. It's uh, quite intuitive, I hope. So you simply drag and drop these connectors here. And after that, you can rearrange all symbols if you want. Another possibility that we have is let FluidDraw connect them automatically. In that case, you only need to move one connector underneath the other one, and you see it is connected automatically. If you want to use that option, please make sure that that is turned on in the general settings. Go to manage options and you have connector links here. Please make sure that pneumatic connectors are connected automatically. If you like the videos, please subscribe to our channel and keep yourself informed. See you next time.